Welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up your gradebook for both middle school and high school faculty. All right, before we jump into setting up the gradebook, especially for new teachers, you're going to need to know exactly what gradebook categories we use and the percentages associated with each. Now, at Hebrew and Christian Academy, all classes use three different categories, daily assessments, minor assessments, and major assessments. Some departments like science, English, or AP courses have additional categories that they can use, such as lab or composition. Regardless of how many categories you have, all category totals must equal 100%. So let's talk a little bit about what daily assessments are. This is going to be your homework category, your classwork category, and maybe even participation. Whereas minor assessments are going to be your formative assessments like your quizzes. And major assessments might be something like a test or a project. Now semester exams do not go into the gradebook. They are placed in a separate area and you'll receive instructions closer to December and May on how to enter in your semester exams. The only exception to this is for sixth grade faculty, the first semester semester exam is actually worth a test grade. So we actually do put that one into the grade book. But again, you'll get further instructions when semester exams hit. Okay, so now that you know your categories and the percentages for each of the categories, let's see how we set up our grade book. When you go into the Hebron Hub and you access one of your classes, you're going to see underneath the name of the class, Launch Gradebook. This will open up another window. Now I'm going to move it to the center. Where you're going to go is to the Settings icon. Now the display options, feel free to look through the display options because you can customize how your gradebook looks for you and your preferences. I tend to find that the default is perfectly fine. If you're ever curious on who can see gradebook information, gradebook access will show you that coaches can see information, parents, students, and advisors. But where we want to focus is grade calculation. So when you go into grade calculation, the first thing you need to do is switch to marking period. This is going to open up another window and it's going to ask you to pick your calculation method. Now this is a change for the 2022-23 school year. All teachers must select total points with weight. I'm going to select that for first semester and I'm going to select that for second semester. Now on your screen, you will not see daily assessments yet, and that's okay. I had already played with my gradebook, so that part was in. So once you have total points with weight, we're going to click apply. All right, you'll see that you have both first semester and second semester. So now we want to select the assignment types. Now for most classes, we're going to check daily, minor, and major. Again, science, AP, and some English classes may select some of the other two, but primarily most everybody will have three, daily, minor, and major. And I'm going to apply those. I'm going to come down to second semester, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. All right, now before I go on to the next step, if you have additional classes, I only have one class here for demonstration purposes, you'll see where you can check underneath what other gradebooks to apply this to. So you can do the gradebook setup once and have it apply to all of your gradebooks. So be sure to look for that and to check any other gradebook, any other courses that this weighting will apply to. All right, so we've done that. So let's go back up to first semester. Again, we're doing this once at the beginning of the year, so we don't need to touch it for the rest of the year. We need to look at this second column right here where it says weight percentage, and we're gonna put in our percentages. Now be careful because it goes in alphabetical order. So it's daily, major, and then minor. 
So I want to make sure that my percentages are correct. So 20, 50, and 30 are what I use for my course. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to do the exact same thing for second semester. Okay, those look identical. All right, at this point, you could go ahead and hit save, but I do want to alert you to that third column. Now, a lot of teachers like to drop a quiz, um, maybe drop a homework assignment, and they want to wait until the end of the semester before that's calculated so that the student sees an immediate boost once that's entered. Well, if you do plan on dropping anything, you can come back into the gradebook setting, and this third column is where you would do it. So let's say I'm going to drop one quiz grade. I would enter in one and then save it, and I could do the same thing for second semester. Now, if I do it today, the gradebook will automatically calculate and continually drop that first, that worst um, minor assessment grade, so the lowest assessment grade. And so this can be a little confusing for parents, so I actually would recommend before the end of the semester to come back in um, and enter that one a little bit later. But again, you can do it if you want it to be a running tally. All right, so I'm going to hit save, and that's all I need to do for setting up my gradebook But I do want to talk a little bit about why the switch to total points with weight. By switching our gradebooks to total points with weight, this allows teachers to have two different options when grading. Traditionally, most grades are done out of 100 points and categories are weighted. This would be considered grading with percentages. And teachers can still grade with percentages where every assignment, every quiz, every test, every homework is out of 100 points, but each category is weighted differently. However, some teachers like to grade with points. Maybe all homework has five problems. All quizzes have 20 problems. And all tests are 50 questions. Well, if you want to grade with points, each category has a typical point range. It cannot be scattered, so you have an average point range. And every category is weighted differently. So for example, your daily assessments might be between 10 and 15 points, minor 15 and 25, and major 50 and 75. But keep in mind, if we're just talking daily assessments, if one daily assessment is a 10 point assessment and another is 15, that 15 point daily assessment will carry more impact on the overall grade than the 10 point daily assessment. So try to keep those daily minor majors within a typical point range. Now, Hebron does not allow for grading by total points without category weights. You have to weight each of the categories. And overall consistency is key. When deciding which grading method you want to use, percentages or points, make sure you select a grading style that you plan to use for the entire year. Do not switch mid-semester or mid-year. Hopefully this has helped you understand how to set up your gradebook. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to technology.